Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to another BMTV with the wonderful Chris Horn from Amscan. Chris, hello. Hi, Greg. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You? Well, I'm, I'm very, very good. What have you been doing since I last saw you? Um, I had dinner and okay. went to sleep. Okay, right, good. <laughs> Uh, oh, many, a, many times because there's away, weeks it? between yeah. it. Yes. Okay. I mean, that joke's going to start to get a bit old, isn't it? I think people Slightly. understand how we do this. But I anyway, so. um, <laughs> thank you for coming back. Um, and today, I believe you're going to do something for Mother's Day. Yes, indeed. Yes. So yes. It, uh, I see a heat sealer. A heat sealer. So I'm thinking clears. Absolutely. And look at that. I know their products You've so well. You've got it all nailed down. Okay, you can do this then. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, you know, I have no skills whatsoever when it comes to I balloons. I think it's all a myth. I just stand here and look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> One day, maybe. What I'm going to do is... 20 years ago. <laughs> it's something you've seen lots of times before. Okay. Many times before. I'm just going to basically put a bouquet of flowers inside the clears on a box, make it look pretty. Happy Mother's Day. Okay. But I just get so many questions, and I think you probably do too, um, from customers. That, you know, how do you do that? How do they see it? And they're not sure how to do yes. it. And there's yeah. lots of different variations and ways to do it. So I'll just take the opportunity. I'll show you how I do it. Might suit you, might not. Yeah. But, you know, it's, uh, it, it's not that difficult. The whole um, hat box design thing is very popular. Very popular. Well. They are nice. They're lovely. They and you've got yeah. a really good range, so that's good as well. You know, you've got all the gear. We, we do sell quite a bit of it, yeah. We just show you how to put it together, or at least. Awesome. Put it. And I like, this is nice. The sparkly, spotty, metallic tissue paper that you've got is really pretty. We sell that as well. Okay. Yeah, indeed. Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> and this? So, and that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. This is all stuff that is off your shelves. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm using these, which is, um, this is the, the Sempertex 660 Linkaloon. Link yes. Yeah. We used them a couple of times for other things. Um, they're, they're not the most commonly used balloon, but they actually do have quite a lot of Unusual uses. Yeah. You can put them to use in, in strange ways. So, okay, let's start first. We're going to use the, the large clear, mm -hmm. the, the, the standard size one, um, but you can use the petite as well, just make a smaller version of the whole okay. thing. But I just wanted to challenge myself and demonstrate to everybody that it is entirely possible to get this huge bunch of flowers inside the balloon yeah. okay. quite easily. I have um, to say, these so artificial flowers these days, they look good, don't they're they? They're very good. And then, but they yeah. just last, obviously, for a very, very, very long time. Indeed, they don't die, yeah. But they just look good. I'm not a great lover of artificial flowers. Being a florist, yes. um, I, you know, my, my heart is with fresh flowers. Um, and yeah, the artificial ones, generally speaking, I find a little bit... <laughs> But I think I like the, I think it's another reason why I like working with balloons. They're t sort of temporary. Yeah, yeah. It's nice that balloons last a long time. You can have them last a long time, but they do eventually disappear. Yeah. And I like that because then you do something else. You've got, yeah, 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 I see so, what you mean. Yeah. whereas artificial flowers, potentially, if you put this together correctly, it's going to last you for years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. yeah. Uh, but nevertheless, yeah, you know, they are, they're really good. And some but, of them now are amazingly good. As in somebody that's got no experience of flowers other than seeing them in gardens. If I'm a few feet away from that, I've no idea if that's no. real or, or, or artificial. They, they, they're so. good quality. They, they, they are nice. And yeah. they do make a really lovely gift. Yeah. And it's going to last for quite long enough, thank you. Um, so, yeah, cool. <laughs> the only issue with this is that the stems are too long for what we want to do with it. Oh, okay. Because they, you know, once you've opened that out, the thing it's just too big. So I'm going to shorten it first. Okay. Um, now, I did forget what I needed to do this. When I did the practice run, I do practice, um, I did it with a cable tie oh, around there because right, it was okay. really quick and really easy. And you've got so, your little cable tie. I've got my little gun, gun thing, zip, zip, done. Yeah. Um, so it was ever so simple, but I forgot to bring it. Oh, so okay. I'm going to use the 260 instead. I just want to tie it there. I want to, that's where I want the, 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 the sort of spray point, yeah. which is there. I want okay. it here instead. Okay. So I'm going to tie that tightly round. Chris, is this just another way of you selling 260s? Yes. Is that, is that what yes. it is? Sell another balloon. I've forgotten yeah. the cable ties. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sell another balloon. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, in, in real life, when people are at an event, you do forget stuff. Of course you do. And in our industry, I believe we're very good at coming up with solutions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Well, um, this is clearly one of them. This will work fine. So I just wrapped it around multiple times, really, really tightly. I'm actually going to just 
carry on down a bit so that so you can, make sure you've got tension on that as you're yeah, doing it yeah pulling it really tight and then that will hold it all together now you've got two options with this you yeah we i'm going to put it in a hat box mm -hmm. sit it on a hat box um so i don't need lots and lots and lots of stem but the other way of, of presenting these is actually kind of like a bouquet where you do need to okay. leave the stem so if you want to do it that way don't do any more but if we're going to put it in the hat box i need to shorten this so that when it's all okay let's open it out a little bit to get the the idea mm -hmm. when it's sitting on top of the box yeah like so i don't want that it's too long yeah so i need to cut that off okay um so i'm going to cut it off this is not an easy thing to do no that's quite um, thick stem it yeah. is quite thick stem so i'm going to go around and just nip it with the wire cutters once you've once you've broken through the outer outer skin then there we go oh there oh. it goes <laughs> off it goes and that is that's all right that's not too yeah too rough if it's really really rough put a little bit of um, stretchy tape or something like that over it yeah. i'll do that anyway just to protect because we are working with balloons here so this whole thing is going inside the clears balloon yes so we uh, yes with this bit sticking out okay all right <laughs> okay so that now is protected so if that comes in contact with the balloon we're not going to have a disaster okay right so it's going inside the balloon and this will come out through the neck of the balloon um, and we need to seal the neck of the balloon around here so the first issue we've got is that this is bumpy yeah so if we try and seal the neck of the clears onto this there are going to be areas where the air Absolutely, will leak yeah. out that's where this ah, comes in okay because we're going to take a piece off of the 660 there, and we're going to slip the whole stem inside there and then the clears will seal onto that okay all right and yeah. make you seal okay so it can be very 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 annoying uh, another bit of 260 just to hold it in place mm -hmm. very annoying once you've gone through all of this if you've just got a tiniest little leak yeah and then yeah. it just slowly goes down so just take the time to make sure that you've covered everything up and made it as airtight as possible okay right so now we're, we're we're ready to move on to the next bit i'm going to fluff this out a little not too much mm -hmm. but it's easier to do it now than when it's actually inside the balloon it still amazes me that you can put things this size into balloons yeah 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 for certainly with latex ones not so much because latex is, is really stretchy isn't it but yeah inside a the clears but still seeing something like that inside any kind of balloon just you, it, you know, i don't know i love it there's a, there's that sort of element of oh how yeah exactly and uh, shipping a bottle kind that's of thing. kind of what gives it some value isn't it yeah i guess yeah. okay so we're ready with that let's take the take the balloon let me tidy up you can tidy up after yeah. me thank you very much a bit more there okay a bit there. there we go okay. right take the balloon and we're thank you <laughs> First thing we're going to do is take the valve out. Now we've done this lots of times before. Lots and lots of times, and Always. you still find it very I amusing. I love it. Makes me laugh all the time. I remember the first time you showed me that. I, I did find it very <laughs> amusing. My Bit God. of air in. Oh, maybe. No. Hang on. Am I going in the right place here? Sometimes these can be a little... Ah, there we go. Even there's, because there's, Horn puts it in the wrong place. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's two pieces of valve. Yes, the clear one and yeah, the right one. You've yeah. got to get between them. And I didn't. Yeah, I, I will quite regularly get in the wrong place like that. And then pinch the seams together, cut it across at an angle, squeeze it, out there comes the valve. Every time, love it. Right, air out again. Um, I'm also going to remove that sticker okay so got that, the oh yeah there's a sticker on there it says inflate here okay <laughs> very useful <laughs> yeah very <laughs> <clears throat> but it tends to get in the wrong place <laughs> every time <laughs> so, remove the air okay so now there is no way that we can stretch that neck open enough to put that in there absolutely so not. we're going to go in the other way 
we're going to take the top off the balloon. A nice sharp pair of scissors cut straight across. It always seems really dramatic. It there does. Go. So that's come off. Now we want to make this big enough to squeeze that through, but small enough to fit into the heat sealer. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, you know, it's a bit of a balance. If you don't make it big enough and you're stretching, then you can end up ripping the whole balloon yeah, apart. Yeah. So it is quite important. Have just you ever to, done that? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you confidently say, yeah, I've yeah, messed it up. Yeah, done it several times. <laughs> right. So there's our opening. And we're going to squeeze that through there. So now I'm going to squash it back up again. But having opened it, it, it is springy now, so okay. it should spring back a bit. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> Extra arm? No. I, I opened Not it. Now it's, this is like cling film. <laughs> okay. In through there. And very carefully, just ease the bouquet into the balloon so that we don't put any tension on that cut and we don't split it open. And then the tail out through simple. the neck. Absolutely simple. And then we're going to seal it. So what we want is a complete single seal. Ideally what we want is yeah. just one seal straight the way across that goes off the edge on both ends. So Put that in there, and I've got this sort of set to a sort of medium heat. Um, one of the big questions that comes up regularly is what what setting should I have on my heat sealer? Um, well, we've got about four heat sealers that we use on a regular basis in the showroom, and they're mm. all slightly different. Mm. So I can't say it's around about four, but um, somewhere in the middle. Okay. Press it down, hold it for a second or two. Um, if you open this too quickly, then the balloon goes a bit like mozzarella cheese under a grill. Oh, it goes okay. all stringy. We don't yeah. want that. We don't want that. So you need to let it cool down and then we'll have a look-see. So I've managed to get myself a little crease in there. Okay. Don't think that'll be an issue. Um, I'm checking that end of the seal is fine. It does go straight off the end. This one is okay, but it's... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah? okay. So I'm gonna put that back in and just put another little quick seal across the corner to make sure. You can do that, it's fine. As long as we've got a, a complete seal, yeah, it won't yeah. matter if there's a slight angle on it. Okay. All right, and you will get another chance to, to see whether this works or not when, when we try to inflate it. So, okay. Right, now that seal is about a quarter of an inch in from the edge of the balloon. Because it's gonna be quite visible, I'm now going to trim it. So. I'm going to cut back close to the seal line, as mm. close as I reasonably can. I would definitely need my glasses to do that. Yeah, well, I've got my glasses, it's still not helping much. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't want to cut across the seal, but we need to get close to it. Oh dear, I've got wobbly hands as well. Okay, how are we doing now? Right, that's, that's fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. No, no, no. As, as neat as you reasonably can, but don't stress too much. Yeah. We haven't got time for all of that. We're trying to make some money out of this, so we've got to, got to do it as reasonably quickly as, as possible, yeah. but we also need to make sure that we've done it right. So now I'm going to inflate the balloon, and at this point I will check that my seal is good enough. So I'm just going to inflate it a little bit. Oh, no, it's not. That's where that crease was. Okay. Don't panic, because we can just open it up and go again. So there's no limit on you know the number what? of times you can do it. I you... said I set it for four because I always have, but I don't know, in transport, ah. I think it's moved. So, no, there's no, there's not a limit. There is, no, you can just keep going, except that eventually you're gonna run out of balloon. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds a little better. I thought it was a bit short. Uh, okay. I think I got it right the first time that time. Let's have another go. A little bit of air in there.
Right, so there is a small leak about mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. which is quite a regular thing. I mean, you, you'll, um, you'll find that this happens on a reasonably regular basis until you've done it lots and lots and lots of times. Now, I have done it lots and lots of times, and it still occasionally happens. Yeah. Don't worry about it because, as I said, you can just keep, keep going until you get it right. Um, and this time, we will get it right. One there, hold it for a second or two, peel it off, double check that the corners are okay. I've tried doing this, you, you might have, be, have seen me, I'm sure, well you have, I think I've done a BMTV on it back mm -hmm. in the dim distant past, where I'm sealing things with an iron. Yes. And I have attempted to do this with, with an iron. Doesn't work very well. Oh. Um, okay. And I'm not entirely sure why but it really isn't that successful. So I'm afraid using a, a bar sealer is really the only way to do it. Yeah. Um, but usually we could, we're all right with it. You know what? I don't know what's happening here. Oh, that's better. Right, here we go. Now, we've got a very ugly seal across the top here, mm -hmm. but as this starts to inflate, this will even out and it will fold over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? And it becomes round. And I think we're going to stop about there. So the beauty of using the clears as well is because is that they will stretch open to whatever size you want. Yeah, yeah. So yes, you can do this thing with with other clear you know, um, balloons, you can, you can put things inside them and all the rest. But what I like about the clears is that you can make it this big or this big or this big. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. tailor it so that it yeah. all um, fits <coughs> and the proportions are right. So having got that, that's the sort of size I'm after. Mm -hmm. We'll now seal it to the 660 with 260. Again, round and round and round, nice and tight. What would you do without 260s? Oh, do you know what? <laughs> I think I think I'd have to give up. Um, I, they're just so useful yeah, for yeah. everything. Um, I we, using fishing line and dacron line and stuff to build garlands on. I hardly ever yeah. do it anymore. Yeah. All right. I mean, if a really big garland, yes, but yeah. something that you know, ten to twelve feet long or whatever, do it on a couple of two sixties. It's yeah. It, they're just so easy um, for everything. I even use them to seal the uh, bags of uh, food in my freezer. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Not red ones for January, yeah. blue ones oh, for February. Oh, I think you might have told me that before, yeah. right? So yeah, very clever. And it, it just makes it easy. They're just marvellous. Yeah. There we go. I've used them to keep my glasses on. <laughs> yeah. Before. Ah, yeah. No, I, I can believe it. They're just brilliant. Trim off we don't need. So now we can see why we use this, yeah, because yeah. there is a small leakage of air round and between the stems okay. that would otherwise be coming out. But because we've covered it with the balloon and then sealed the 646, it creates okay. a closed I thing. Think, oh yeah, of course. I no was just leak. thinking it was the seal here, but of course you've got the gaps in between. In between the stems. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how tightly you bind them, there's still enough for air to yeah, escape. Yeah. So putting that over the stem first. Very clever. Will create that closed system and now it's not going to leak anymore. Okay. That's genius, Chris. I know I use that word a lot with you, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a simple answer to a, a bit of an issue. Yeah. Um, and it really does make a difference. Now, that's still actually fractionally too long. Okay. So I'm just going to put a bend in it. That's better. That sits nice. nicer. So that's going to sit on there. Yeah. Right, tissue paper. I want to put a frill around the base mm -hmm. of the the balloon so i'm going to use some of your lovely spotty tissue it is quite nice isn't it it's beautiful you got three pieces in it yeah which actually is probably enough but i've got two packets just in case i decided i needed more now the thing with tissue paper is it is absolutely gorgeous when it's fresh yeah it's awful when it's creased so handle this as little as possible um I'm going to fold it across from corner to corner like that. 
and that will make the frill and three of them I think is going to be enough Pull it across from corner to corner there one two three okay get ready with your piece of 260 because we need okay. another one and I'm going to pick that up in the center there and just scrunch it and that is what's going around the base of the thing so I'm not going to faff with is it this anymore. A, is this a florist skill? Yeah probably, okay. well I don't know but I'm literally going to hold that scrunched area against there yeah. and put three of them around Okay. and it will make that nice um, collar around the base of the balloon with the minimum of effort. Yeah. Like so. Very nice. Yeah. And then drop the 260. Just wrap that around to hold them in place and tie it off. Don't need to go around too much. It's just literally, this is just to hold in place. We're not sealing anything this time. We're yeah. not worried about that. That is actually quite a nice tissue paper. It looks like it's two-tone in the packet, but it's not. It's just all the Yeah, the it's nice really bit. delicate. <clears throat> they handle it the least you possibly can because yeah. then it will, it will look so nice you can double layer you can put if you wanted to i could uh, put a, a plain pink sheet on top of that before i folded them in half and okay. then where this is white it would be pink all right but okay. it all fine now i want to disguise the um the seam the seam a little bit so i'm going to take this this is lovely shimmer ribbon handy shimmer it's called handy shimmer get 10 meters of it yeah and I'm going to put it under the box. A little bit more on that side. And I'm going to use a trick that I use all the time that works so well, because to try and just tie this firmly onto the top of your, mm -hmm. your balloon can be, oops, can be quite hard. Um, so a bit of curling ribbon across there. You're staticky. I am. Take that over. Take it over. Tie it. Fairly tightly, but not ultra tight. But tight enough to secure so that they, they don't come apart. And then the friction between the two pieces of ribbon will mean that you can now pull that to tighten it up uh -huh. and adjust it to where you want it to be yeah, lovely that's all nice and tight and then you can just then tie it around again to stop it sliding to stop it coming apart again like so and then we'll make a little bow to go on the top so the um, the ribbon holds everything together and hides a multitude of sins if you've been a bit, little bit rough yeah, yeah. with your seal. That's at the top of there. You could add more flowers on the top if you want, more blues, you do whatever you like. But um, I looks, actually want to keep it quite simple. Looks lovely as it is. Yeah. If you're using a nice ribbon like this, there's no need to put anything else there it's 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 good enough I so think. do people do this with fresh flowers as well yes 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 okay. um what you would do then you know those little plastic bottles with the rubber yes rubber thing you put your flowers in that little vials yeah and you can then seal your clears directly to that because okay. it's smooth yeah but if yeah. you want to you could put that inside your 646 yeah. yeah yeah 660 thing um what else have i got it's got here so the lid, whoops, yeah. oh dear, flinging that. I'm going to use, because I'm going to use that just to stop the ribbon sliding off the bottom of the box. So if yeah. you put the box in the lid, yeah. 
Then there I, and then I've got a, a bit of vinyl, because one of the other big questions we get all the time is, can you vinyl onto clears? Yes, you can, of course yeah. you can. Yeah. I wouldn't advise it on just pure helium-filled clears, because they do um, leak helium like latex does. They, over time, they will shrink, yeah. and the vinyl will peel off. They last 24 hours or so which is if it's just for an event is perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah. But if this is a gift, you want it to last a bit longer. But air filled clears literally do last almost indefinitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've got some in the, in the showroom that are coming up for nearly three years old. Wow. They're still, yeah, they just, we just dust them every now and again. Yeah. Um, but going, they haven't shrunk at all. You're going for an angle, so you don't have I to am. get it straight. That's, yes, that's yes, always yes. always a good tip, that, isn't it? Yeah. Go oh, for an intentional it's angle. So difficult to get it level. So no, put it at an angle and then and just a, just a simple message. Oh, 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 oh. Got the last little bit. Yeah, right at the end. It's the dot on the exclamation mark. There we go. Look at that. And that's it. That is perfect. It's that's really lovely. quite simple to do, but yeah. it may, ends up with a really quite impressive gift. So, yeah. And because you're using this and it's all sealed and it's air filled, I guess you can make these days Start weeks in now. Advance. Yes. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> months before. When is Mother's Day? Uh, do you know what? I can't actually remember the exact date. We, we will. We, up? No, we no. will put this out. We'll put that on the screen. We absolutely know. We just don't want to say. It's that's March, right. Isn't March, it? Yeah, absolutely. March or something. Okay. I think. All right. <laughs> it, is, it is definitely a to something. I, I don't, don't know, know exactly. I don't know. Um, but yes, you can. It, it, once you've perfected the art of, of uh, getting that seal yeah. properly, yeah. Yeah. and you can see from, from the, what we've just done, it's not a major deal if it goes slightly wrong yeah. the first yeah. couple of times. Just calm yeah. down, have another go. Once you've got it and you've sealed it properly, that will that'll be fine. That's great, Chris. So. Well, thank you so much for that. Now, My pleasure. As you know, as a guest on BMTV, you get to ask everybody the question of the week. I do. So what question would you like to ask everybody out there? Um, what should I get my mother? For chocolates, wine or balloons? All right. <laughs> I what? think if I gave her balloons, I'd be shot. Okay. Quite honestly. All right. She's a bit fed up with that because she was my business partner for years and years yeah, and years. Yeah. So yeah, help me out here. Chocolates or wine? Chocolates or wine? Or fizzy wine? Does she like fizzy wine? No. Probably. Okay. If it's wine. All right. She's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. What should Chris give to his mum on Mother's Day? Chocolate or wine? <laughs> In addition to one of these. Your next two. You're, you're getting yeah. the BMTV Nation to help you with your life. I am. So thank you great. very much. Well, Chris, thank much you. appreciated. <laughs> once again for that. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. And check us out on Instagram as well. Right. Stay happy. Stay positive. Absolutely. And I will see you next week. Bye. Bye.